Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to continue our design system in Figma using a variant. So let's get started and let's create the very next step which we want to basically add in this design system, which is going to be radio buttons. So as a refresher on how to create these type of designs, is we're going to simply create the element at first so this one right here and we're going to apply a background and also a stroke which is going to be a light gray and uh, as we do that we're also going to create uh, the second one and uh, I'm, go I'm making it uh, right next to the input field simply because uh, I wanted to visually see how this is going to look like uh, as I um, basically adjust this uh, to the uh, design system. So here we go. Uh, we're going to use nuclear icons in order to find a checkbox. Um, or actually for, for the radio buttons, I think we're simply going to go with something minimal like uh, a white circle bring it all above and uh, here we go <clears throat> and uh, basically this is going to serve us uh, as uh, the main radio buttons as we have uh, our two main components here what we're gonna do next is we're going to add uh, a uh, text so let's go ahead over here let's add this text right uh, here and then and we're going to basically select uh, all of this, group it together. And then what we're, what we're going to do next is we're going to basically turn all this uh, into a component. So this one is going to be uh, two components. Let's combine them as variables. As you can see, we have uh, the main variables uh, choice right here. And uh, Let's write here instead of component one, radio buttons. And uh, here we go, we pretty much have our variables. Now, a really cool feature that I want to show you is uh, when it comes to these binary options, like yes or no, we can use this uh, really cool um, property in Figma, which is going to be, um, let's say the state in this case, and we're going to say state true and uh, for the other one state uh, false and the moment we do this as you may know we have uh, these components now in the assets panel so the moment i just select them and bring them here you can see that now i have uh, this uh, toggle switch which basically allows me to uh, easily toggle between uh, the first and the second instance in this case so that uh, we can easily uh, do this uh, in, uh, in a fast way um, in Figma. So another thing I wanted to basically add here is uh, the checkboxes. So we're going to write here radio plus checkboxes since those are other elements which you want you definitely might want to use and uh, what we're gonna do here instead is we're going to add some uh, uh, the rectangles or actually a, a checkbox right here let's make it just a little bit rounded let's copy the style and let's uh, just add a little bit of roundedness uh, to this selection all right so okay uh what i notice is that this rectangle is not inside this instance so what we can do is simply bring it over here and here we have uh, our uh, checkbox now second one is going to be basically the actual checkbox so let's go ahead and let's add a check since they call them check boxes for a reasons. Uh, so let's add the check over here and uh, we're pretty much good to go. 
Right, I'm also going to create another version of this, which uh, instead of the checkbox, it's going to have uh, a null option. So something around these lines uh, would uh, do the job. And uh, let's bring it right here. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, here we go. All right. So we need to clean up uh, the layers now and uh, we cannot have just a true or false statement. So we're going to need to create uh, different uh, um, basically variables in the dropdown. So we're going to write under state unchecked state on this one is going to be checked state on this one is going to be null now what we're missing here in all of these uh, elements is we need to two properties uh, or actually one property which is going to tell us if it's a radio button or a checkbox so let's add that at the very start so I'm going to add type radio and then comma and then here type radio and then comma and here instead of type radio we're going to add the type checkbox with the comma as always and uh, oops and uh, also here and here so what uh, this uh, is doing essentially is we're creating the differentiation between the radio and the checkboxes so if I go here under the assets panel and uh, I go over here and select this uh, this option, this, this uh, component, you can see that I can select between the checkbox and the radio and uh, also which one do I want. So in this case, uh, for some reason, I'm also seeing the false and the true, um, or actually I'm seeing all the options under um, both the checkbox and uh, the state so the reason why this is happening is because we have the same uh, element under the same variant so is a fix bring these guys here let's move it over here Let, let's reduce the size let's say combine as variant now we're going to change uh, this uh, to checkboxes and radio only so basically what this is going to do is uh, we're going to have two separate elements at this point so instead of having just the radio uh, for both we're also going to have the checkboxes and this is a better way of approaching it if uh, you're looking to uh, create a design system at scale so we're going to have the checkbox and then now checked and here we're just going to have the toggle option to make it uh, easier to to work through essentially so there we go we could even potentially just remove uh, those uh, um, initial properties at this point so we can just keep the property of the state and uh, here Here we go. All right. So this is pretty much it when it comes to this part of the design system. I want to remind you that this is a design system that we're building from scratch and it's going to be available uh, in the link in the description. And also I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in this type of topics, feel free to check it out. And um, yeah, we'll continue with the next video.